The topic of this video is solving nonlinear systems of equations by substitution or elimination. This is a continuation of the previous video. Okay, so in our previous video, we solved the system where we got two potential answers, but before we can call them our final answers, we have to check both of them. The way this works is you have to plug in each point, one at a time, into both equations in your system. And because we have two points and two equations, this means that we have a total of four, two times two equals four, check actions that we must take. Okay, let's start by plugging in point one into equation one. Let's label these point one and two to make this video just a little bit easier to follow. All right, so we're going to put point one in equation one. So everywhere we see an x, we'll put 1 third. Everywhere we see a y, we'll put 8 thirds. So here we go. 7 times 1 third squared minus 1 third times 8 thirds plus 8 thirds squared equals 7. Exponents come first with a order of operations. And 1 third times 1 third is 1 ninth. Let's show our work over here. 1 third squared is the same thing as 1 third times 1 third. The rule for multiplying fractions is multiply across the top. 1 times 1 is 1. And multiply across the bottom. 3 times 3 is 9. So 1 third squared is 1 ninth. All right, we've got another exponent over here that we're going to deal with, 8 thirds squared. So this is very similar. In fact, you can probably predict the answer even before I tell you what it is. 8 times 8, 64. 3 times 3, 9. So this is going to be 64 ninths. And while we're at it, even though we've already done our exponents first, let's go ahead and do this multiplication. 1 third times 8 thirds would be 8 ninths. Okay, now 7 times 1 ninth would be 7 ninths. So we have 7 ninths minus 8 ninths plus 64 ninths. Whenever you add or subtract like fractions, you keep the common denominator and add or subtract the numerators. So 7 minus 8 is negative 1, plus 64 would be 63. So on the left we get 63 ninths, on the right we get 7. Now, does 63 divided by 9 equal 7? Yes, it does. And so what that tells me is that point 1 satisfies equation 1. So if it also satisfies equation 2, then that will prove that point one is a solution to our system. So let's now try and put point one in equation two. Excuse me, uh, yes, in equation two. All right, point one in equation two. So we get four x, but we're gonna replace x with one third, plus y, but we're gonna replace y with eight thirds, equals four. 4 times 1 third is 4 thirds. 4 thirds plus 8 thirds is 4 plus 8 thirds, which is 12 thirds. And 12 divided by 3 really is 4. So point 1 satisfies equation 1, point 1 satisfies equation 2, and therefore this is a correct answer. All right, we are a little more than halfway done. I say that because uh, it will be much shorter and much easier to check point 2 since it doesn't have any fractions in it. All right, so let's put point 2 in equation 1. So everywhere in equation 1 that we see an x or a y, we'll put a 1 or a 0 respectively. So we get 7 times 1 squared minus 1 times 0 plus 0 squared equals 7. Exponents come first. 1 squared is 1. 0 squared is 0. And now that we've dealt with those, we can do the multiplication in the middle. Anything times 0 is 0. So we get 7 minus 0 plus 0 equals 7. 7 equals 7. So point 2 satisfies equation 1. Now all we have to do is put point 2 in equation 2. All right, equation two is 4x plus y equals 4. x is replaced with 1, y is replaced with 0. 
So we get 4 plus 0 equals 4, 4 equals 4, and that is also true. So that tells me that this point is a solution of equation 1 and equation 2, and therefore is a solution of the system. There are two points in our final answer, 1 third comma 8 thirds and 1 comma 0.